everyone. Welcome to My Immigration Story. I am your host, Sujata Ramteke. This is an ongoing series where we bring to you stories of immigrants from varied backgrounds, and we hope to shed some light on the challenges and the triumphs experienced by the immigrants in America. And today we have with us Alexi Ptitz. Hello, Alexi. How are you? Uh, hello. Thank you for inviting me for this magic show. Yeah. I try to answer for your questions. Maybe it will be interesting. So. Thank you for coming and joining us. Um, I know you have a very interesting uh, story um, and you have a lot to share. Uh, please uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from and what do you currently do here in the US? Okay. I'm from Ukraine, this uh, city of Kharkov, uh, close to Belgrade, uh, not uh, far on, on board Belgrade, uh, Russia from Ukraine. Uh, I'm here a uh, little more than one year. I'm living now in Foxborough, it's a great place. And uh, I come in uh, uh, 7 January, maybe, uh, last year. I like Foxborough. And what do you currently do here? Uh, please repeat. Uh, what do you currently do? Uh, I mean, like, uh, for living? Uh, where do you work or what do you oh, do? Oh, uh, I begin my work in the uh, United States uh, like a uh, plumber helper. Uh -huh. Now I'm working a uh, maintenance worker. Uh, actually, I, I'm an electrician. I'm in Ukraine, being an electrician all the time, 20 years. But uh, I need to uh, learn English and uh, take a school, electrician school. I hope I soon be an electrician. Again. In, yes. So, uh, Alexi, tell us, uh, you know, we, we, we know uh, this, uh, you know, current situation uh, a year and a half back, what happened in Ukraine, um, you know, the Russian invasion. Um, so tell us your story, like how was it? How did you come from, I, I believe you came during that time, right? Uh, yes. during, the, during the war uh, time, you fled from war zone. So tell us a story, uh, you know, and take your time. Um, you can start from like right from the start, what you have seen, um, you know, we would love to kind of uh, know your experience, what you have experienced, what you have felt, because flying from war zone is, is not easy. It's not something anyone wishes, uh, you know, to do. Um, so yeah, give us your story. Yes, I uh, want to begin with uh, war is beginning. Uh, we don't know about war. Uh, uh, I look on TV and uh, someone told uh, maybe war, uh, many, many Russian soldiers and techniques uh, on board. And uh, I wake up in the day when the war beginning. I don't hear uh, nothing. Uh, but uh, another side, my city uh, was bombing in the uh, same place. Uh, uh, I'm looking to the window and many, many cars go on uh, from the uh, city, escape, people escape. I don't uh, understand, I'm being shocked and uh, look at my phone, 20 calls, uh, uh, someone, uh, many people want to tell me about war beginning. Uh, gas station, uh, big, uh, mm, uh, big problem with gas because uh, begin bombing, uh, uh, not uh, uh, gasoline in the uh, station. And uh, long line, every uh, gas station, I don't have <laughs> a lot of uh, uh, gas in my car. I don't know what to do now. And uh, I begin listen uh, rockets and uh, bombs and many, many uh, strange voices. Um, and beginning uh, uh, air alert. And uh, first uh, 10 days uh, will be in Kharkov because I don't uh, have an idea what do now. So Need how did you figure out, like, uh, when you knew that, you know, the war is started? 
you know, the troops from, from Russia is coming over to take uh, Kharkiv because Kharkiv was one of the most hit area, right? Yes. Uh, it is one of the biggest, second biggest uh, city in, in Ukraine, right? Yes, second biggest city and uh, this not so far from uh, Russian board. And uh, so after you got to know, like, you know, the war has started and now you don't, there is no gas. Um, so how did you like protect your family? Your family was there, right? Your wife, your kids? Yes, we been in the basement of building. Was it safe? This, um, I don't think so. Uh, this very safe. But we don't have any choice. What about the food and, you know, and how many days you were there in the basement? Uh, uh, we uh, in our basement, this uh, building, apartment building, and uh, many, um, many people in this building, and no many basement is open, and uh, with basement no good uh, trash like dirty, not yeah. good. We don't live in basement. We sit in the basement uh, many times because uh, if uh, red alert begin, uh, no, red, uh, air alert begin, we come into the basement. And with children, this very. How old are you? Ch are your children? Uh, my uh, uh, old daughter been in this time eleven, maybe. Uh, my. Uh, Young uh, son been one year, not no, uh, ten, 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 ten months. Older, net, no, ten. Uh, my older daughter, ten years, and uh, uh, one year, my your son, son was yes, one year old. Yes, he only began to walk. And how did you manage, like you know, getting into the basement with with like little kids? This was very difficult. Food. The uh, food uh, um, in first time don't work in any market. Uh, don't um, we can pay for card credit card. We don't have a lot of uh, cash. Uh, every every money in card and uh, not work in card. And uh, people in panic buy water and food and uh, long line after magazine, uh, after store. This very bi big problem. And then how did you realize, like, how did you figure out, like, after going through that situation, how many days you were there in the basement? Ten days. We've been Ten days. In and then in the basement, then you started to figure out uh, that you have to leave Kharkiv and, and go somewhere safe? Yes, uh, uh, we don't uh, have an idea what place be safe and uh, I don't have a lot of gasoline in my car. But uh, 10 days uh, we leave Kharkiv and go to the uh, village, not so far from Kharkiv, but uh, safety. And uh, we, <laughs> uh, my friend, uh, find the uh, ugly house, old house, and we live in, in this house. Um, go to the forest and uh, fire wood and heating. This uh, house without heating, without water, and we live in this house. And not have a lot of food in first time because the stores not working. Nobody no know what uh, be in future, and uh, uh, markets many markets are closed. And leave. <laughs> so then, how did you figure out like you have to go to U.S.? Do you have any extended family here in U.S.? Um, yes, uh, all my uh, relatives live in the U.S. Uh, they helped you get, uh, take you out from from Ukraine. Yes, uh, they call me every day, every hour, and ask uh, the worry about my family and me because I have two children. This very day. Uh, but I uh, only I don't want to move in the United States. Uh, little uh, time, I'm agree with 
my relatives and my family. But uh, why didn't you want to move? Because the United States definitely is um, safer. Yeah. You were in the war zone and you didn't have a choice. So what was that like? Why, why didn't you not move, wanted to move to, to United States? I don't States? know. I don't uh, young for change, uh, big changes in my life. I think so. But uh, when I come in the United States, I, uh, I, now I don't want to back Ukraine. Right? because I meet uh, very good people and all people that I meet is so kind and uh, I like this, I like... Um, now you're liking the change that like you have to, I know there are a lot of barriers, right? Language is one of the barriers, so uh, you know, that is one of the change uh, you have to have. I don't know about the, the weather, is the weather same? It's much colder in Ukraine, is it? Uh, please repeat. Uh, the, so the weather, right? Is it much colder in, in No, 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 no. No, weather not. Uh, in Massachusetts, uh, um, I hear many times, oh, cold and uh, hurricanes and rain. No, this beautiful weather. I like. This is like uh, my city, but warmer. This is warmer for you? L yes, this is good weather, good. I like it. And ocean, <laughs> I like ocean very much. Yeah. So, um, so when you flew from Ukraine to United States, did you like does, does did uh, U.S. government help, or is, were there any programs through which you you fled any visa or any status? Yes, we have a humanitarian parole uh, passport, and uh, this is my cousin live uh, here, uh, maybe eighteen years. Uh, uh, she invited me and my family and be our um, sponsor in the United States. This program called You for You, United for Ukraine. Mm. Was that difficult or it, it was like easy to get that humanitarian passport? Like you had to apply for that passport or how was it? Oh, uh, this, uh, I have passport, uh, uh, but this humanitarian parole, we, this uh, very difficult for my cousin. I don't mm. know what she do, but not easy. Mm. There's many paperwork and uh, check. Uh, uh, Despite the fact that there is a war going, the whole country, the whole world knows about it, right? That Russia has, uh, you know, attacked Ukraine. There is a war going on. There are casualties. There are bombing, and still there is still it was difficult to get that humanitarian aid from, uh, like, from US for you. <sighs> I don't know what is. <laughs> Please. Yeah, <laughs> don't I mean. understand questions. No, no. I mean, uh, like, you know, um, everyone knew, right, in the world that the war is going on, right? Yes. Ukraine and Russia, war yes, is going everyone on. Everyone know. know right? So, when you said that your cousin had difficulty in, you know, filing the paperwork and, you know, for the humanitarian. Uh, no, difficult uh, because a uh, lot of work need to collect yeah, and yeah. need to work and uh, live. This uh, take a lot of time. Mm. A lot of appointments like this, uh, check uh, financials, uh, many, many different paperwork. For me, like my personal opinion, like during this kind of war situation, these are like extreme situations, right? Yes. At least during this time, the governments of different countries should be a bit lenient because people are already in stress, right? Stress of war. It's not a normal stress of office or work. It's, it's a stress of war, like stress of you don't know if you're going to be alive tomorrow or not. Even in that situation, if you have to think of the paperwork, I think it's sad uh, that even during that time, uh, you know, you have to go to uh, appointments and paperwork and, and look for everything. Um, so that's what I asked, like, was it difficult or was it easy? Did government make it any, any easy for, for people who are flying from, uh, you know, the war zone? Yes, uh, I think I uh, need to, uh, uh, some uh, rules about uh, this document and this take yeah. time, this is normal. Yes, extremely, uh, but need to wait. We're waiting. Living in, uh, my wife with children living in uh, ugly house and village. I live in <laughs> Kharkov and work in. Um. So after you come to U.S. now, what do you like most about U.S.? You, you said you like it here and you don't want to go back, right? 
Yeah. What do you like most? I like um, people. I like United States people. They always smile, and always kind. Nobody say me something bad. One year I hear this long time. And have you traveled to other part of US or you have only been in Massachusetts and, and Foxborough for now? I don't see all US. I've been only in Massachusetts. I like Massachusetts. In Foxborough. Foxborough. Very like. What is the best part of being in Foxborough? Uh, best part? More. I like natural. Natural mm -hmm. in Foxborough. Very beautiful. I see uh, many, many wild uh, animals in Foxborough. This is not. Uh, <laughs> Very interesting. Turkey and um, uh, squirrel and rabbit. It's very great. <laughs> so um, you have so before war, right? In in Ukraine, uh, were there like any uh, you know like uh, cultural or social taboos, like some things that were considered wrong, but you think that in U.S. it's it's not considered wrong or you know is is there anything like for for india for my country there are a lot of cultural things that like discrimination uh, is one thing caste discrimination people are divided on the basis of their birth like if you are born with this last name then you are at a higher hierarchy right you are at higher level if you are born in a in a family that uh, that last name is you know, from a lower caste, then you are lower caste, and that stays for the rest of your life. That's kind of a social taboo, and it has been there for uh, you know thousands of years. Is there anything in Ukraine? Uh, no, 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 in Ukraine, no. We not have a social taboo. Social taboos or anything like uh, you know freedom of speech, like for here, right? In U.S., when you come, the first thing you notice is freedom of speech. Right? Everybody is allowed to say things freely. Yes, we can say what you feel, what right. you think in Ukraine. Yes, that's good. Oh, is it? Yes, we can say everything we, we want to say. This country of freedom. Now war. Yeah. And uh, because we uh, always said what we think. Yeah. And yeah. this many, many uh, Ukrainians said uh, don't like Russians. Uh, Putin. Many, many <laughs> things. I don't <laughs> want to uh, speak about it. But Do you have any family in Russia? <sighs> yes, I have. My cousin lives here. Mm. His sister lives in Russia now. So close culture. Mm -hmm. Because uh, e early before Ukrainian uh, stay independent, there's been a big, big country, Soviet Union, and uh, people traveling one city after the institute, uh, uh, people uh, going to work uh, for all country. Mm -hmm. or maybe what uh, like uh, institute in Kharkov after institute uh, person go work to the uh, so far to men in Russia men so this has been when you are do you find anything in US like any uh, you know cultural shock for you like something that Ukraine was was not there in Ukraine at all but when you came here oh it's like oh this happens here like, do you, have you noticed anything in U.S.? No, I like uh, <laughs> I like freedom. Mm -hmm. uh, United States is freedom country. Nobody ask, uh, uh, nobody worry about clothes, about uh, car. It's good. It's freedom. Uh, what uh, want? What to do? What are your plans um, for the near future? You, you said you want to go to school and be an electrician again? Yes, I think uh, I got, first I need to <laughs> learn English. Because without English, I see now this problem. <laughs> Getting a good job and uh, make more money. Um, or money need. To pay rent, uh, something buy house in future. 
Uh, yes, I want to learn English, uh, learn my professional, and uh, working, 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 working. This is great. Uh, the United States uh, have a lot of opportunity to grow. If you want to grow, I want to grow. And uh, most important, my children have a big chance to grow. Has your family all adjusted to your kids, are adjusted to school system here? Um, how is the school system, your kids finding the school system very different from Ukraine or is almost the same? Yes, very different system. Uh, I like the system because uh, teachers are so kind with children. Uh, very good, very interesting on lesson, uh, painting, uh, play music, this great program. And, Foxborough accent. I like. I I am been in Soviet Union school. I this is horrible. I don't want to uh, talk about it. This is horrible. Now in Ukrainian good school, but uh, I like freedom school. On the United States more. Um. Alexi, you have, like, you know Ukrainian, right? Um, so we would like you to, you're an immigrant, uh, and yes. you came to the United States, you're trying to adjust to the life here, uh, and you have been through a lot, you know, flying from war zone and, you know, leaving all of the things, all of your life behind in Ukraine, and coming to new country, learning new language, uh, you know, getting used to the culture. Uh, and it's a good thing that you like all these things. Um, I would like you to say something in Ukrainian uh, to the audience. Um, any any life lessons you want to, you want to give? Any uh, you know you want any immigrant to to like not feel that they don't belong here or you know whatever your experience was. Um, uh, if you want to say anything. Я хочу побажати всім здоров'я, щастя та бути в безпеці. This, this is my advice. <laughs> uh, what, is, what does that mean? Uh, that mean I want to all be health and uh, happy and uh, good life, have a good life. Thank you, Alexei. It was a uh, you know, pleasure to talk to you and it was a pleasure Thank to know you. your story and I'm pretty sure uh, the audience will, uh, you know, learn a lot from your story. They will know what, what was exactly going on, like the first-hand experience of war uh, in yeah. Ukraine. Thank you so much for joining us Thank and you. sharing your story. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching my immigration story. I am your host, Sujata Ramteke. You can watch this episode on local channels or on our website, fcatv.org. I'll see you next time.